What are you working on today? Woof, woof. I, I mean, hello everybody. Welcome to Old Man Tinkers. Today, Dad's going to be fixing Mom's chair. I can't wait to see what it looks like when he's done. All right, see you guys later. Bye. So, today, we're going to try to fix a broken leg on the chair. As you can see, it's gotten sheared off. So, to get started on this project, I'm going to have to remove this little cushion. And that's just as easy as uh, untying Mama's knot that she tied on here. And uh, getting that cushion off, there we go. Now you can see, you know, right here, come on over here and look right here. You can see right there, somebody already put a screw in. So we're gonna have to take that out. And what has happened is it's broke completely off. So we're gonna have to get that up out of there and try to replace that part. Looks like the uh, end of the screw got busted off. Yeah, barely went down into there, but we'll see how that goes out. Now I know that this one's in there nice and solid. These side pieces here, they're not in there hardly at all. Not at all. Neither are these side pieces. Now the next question is, is this chair going to fight me? Yes, dear. I want to interrupt your regularly scheduled program for this important service announcement. This video turned out to be long. The best part about it is in the end, two or three minutes. So if you want to skip on to the end, we understand. But I just wanted you to know, this is Old Man Tinkers. Thank you for watching. This one's in there kind of hard. I know I can pull these out. These will take glue, I bet I can glue these. Oh, glue, that word that I don't have a clue about. Take these out here. Oh, that one's been pretty sharp too. Maybe we only wind up blue in this one. This one's pretty stout. I wonder if this chair will stand up on three legs. Okay, so I don't know how to get that out. Let's, uh, let's try it like this. Let's get these tools off here so this chair doesn't fall everywhere. Now mind you, this is all new stuff to me. I don't, I don't do wood very well. Okay, so we get the tools up out of the way. Let's get the parts out of the way. I think one of the reasons I reviewed that video is so that I could get this up here and look at it. That screw out of the way. I see another screw right here. Somebody's sending sideways. That was the kicker right there. Let's, let's get you on over here. Come on over here. Look at this piece right here. I believe that screw right there was the one that split this piece in half and caused it to come. You can see on this side where they put that screw down in there. Yeah, that pretty much looks like that screw was the kicker that broke it. Hold on tight, we'll figure out how we're gonna do this. Okay. So, how can we get this apart? This one, this one seems to be loose enough. This one's in there pretty dead gum tight. Hanging on by a thread. Oh, and it is a thread. It's like a... It's a freaking brad nail or something. Somebody stuck a staple. Look at that. Somebody stuck a staple in there. <laughs> wow, that's what was holding that one in. Okay, so let's see if we can't pull that out. <laughs> Mad 
imagine that. A staple. There, we got that out of there. That was holding that leg in. Okay, so now, I gotta pull this one out, get that out of there. Then we gotta work on this. Look at that, I see a screw here too, so that one's done the same way. So is this one. And so was this, so is this one. They're all screwed in like that. So let's get that screw out of there. Doop -de doo doo. Woo! Had a long one too. <laughs> I, there again, state the obvious. I do not work well with wood, so I don't have a clue as to how we're going to get this out of there. I guess because it's trash anyway, I could probably just um, drill it out, grind it out, screw it out. Maybe I could burn it out or weld it out. What do you think? <laughs> up in here well maybe yeah you can kind of see them holes that I'm trying to dig I want to make that surface just a little thicker let's try this big fat round one and see if it works any better Cut it, but 
it and cut it up. And the whole chair just fell off. That's getting a little bit better. That's not. Oh yeah, so you can see. Here, look here. I'll show you. You can see how it goes through. So that's what I'm doing. Nice and easy. Looky there, see now? Now, that. That's what we're trying to accomplish. Now we've got our piece. Now we need to make that work in the, in the bottom piece. see we got a nice I can get it to focus here yeah so this is what we've accomplished we've got that all nice and cut off now what we got to do is drill us a hole right in the center of it so
inside of this. Let's put this together and uh, let this sit overnight. And then tomorrow, we'll put it in here with glue and put it all back together and see how it comes out. Let's see. What do you think? The original super glue. So we've got the dowel in the center of the piece on the top. I knew just gluing a piece on top of here would not be good enough. So as you watched in the video, we drilled down about this far, stuck a large piece of dowel in there, right in the center of this top piece. Now we're gonna stick it in a hole. And then this little section right here, we're gonna glue, 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 slather and lather. And then we're gonna put our beads back in there. And we are going to have us a chair again. Let's get us some glue in those spots, spaces. This one goes up here. I'm gonna glue that side too. Just like this. Pour it on there, let it drip. And then take the brush, and smear it up in there. Well, why didn't you just put, cut a hole in the thing and squeeze it? Well, because I want to use it for more than just this project. So I'm gonna take that glue all up over there, clean it off around the edges, wipe it on the old t-shirt. I'm going to pour some glue in these holes. on these chairs as I was tinkering with them yesterday that there's no um, there's no glue in these joints I don't know why they didn't glue these joints there's just um, there's just um, staples they ran staples so we're going to glue this up Spread that glue around, nice and friendly like. We want all of the little pieces there to have a little bit of glue, because we got plenty of glue to share. As you see, we poured it on there nice and thick. I know I'm getting it all over everything, right? So we got glue there, we got glue here. We got glue here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna pour just a little bit more glue. There we go. Now this glue is something new. I know it's not new to the market, but it's new to me because I don't work well with glue. Because I don't work well with wood. Not 
done much wood in my, my, my life other than sat my fat butt on it. So, a little bit of humor in life. Got to keep the world going around. Pretty sure that one's there and that one's there. Spread some more blue. I know I keep talking. You know what? There's nothing more boring to watch than to watch a video where nobody talks. And they're like, like Bob Brown. On this little adventure here, we put a little color of brown, we get a little bit of cream, and then we get all these colors together, and then all this goes together really well, and you'll never know, and you know, you gotta talk on a video. That's the way I feel about it, you gotta talk on a video. No matter what you're doing, you gotta talk on a video. Oh, we forgot the most important part. Well, we didn't forget, I forgot. Let's pour some glue right here. Boom, big glob of glue. Oh, drop it on the floor. I'm gonna feed it to the dog, which I am currently straddling. <laughs> the dog, currently straddling the dog, you know. You notice I'm a little messy. Oh well, you know what, that's the way life is sometimes. Sometimes you gotta be messy. Not crazy about it. I don't dream about it at night, about being messy. <laughs> That's funny. I don't dream about it at night. No, I don't dream about being messy at night. No, of course not. <laughs> so, I mean, this is this is not something that I, I looked up on the master plan of woodworking. How do you do this? The master plan of woodworking. This is just something I looked at and said, oh, hey, I bet you fix it like this. So we are going to shove that booger right there. And line up all of our little beams here. We'll get them all right there. So we can get those beams up in there nice and tight. We're gonna shove that up in there nice and tight. Put the lid back on the glue so I don't feed it to the dog. I'm gonna wipe. We're gonna feed it. We're gonna shove it. Hold on. Then I'm going to use some of this five pitch cord, tie a knot around it, like so. And then I am going to feed the five pitch cord around like this, around like that, down and under, under and down. tie it right in here because what this is going to do is this is going <laughs> this is going <laughs> oh my gosh really could I ask for a duller knife <laughs> okay so quick and short and down and dirty we're going over this way over that way back this way we're going to clutch catch it here let's cinch it this way we're going to cinch it nice and tight, just like that, pulling in all the directions. Tie us a little cinch knot right here, keep that tight, just like so. And there we go, we got that tight. That looks good, that's pulling from here, we're tightening this one, yep, tighten that one, looks good. All right, we'll see how it holds up, and maybe in a day or two I'll do a review.